Hi, it's Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our weekend reading. It's going to be our daily oracle card reading for Friday, which will be February 6th, Saturday the 7th, and Sunday the 8th. I hope I got those dates right. And we're using the Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Gorgeous artwork. And I'm going to shuffle the deck and ask that as I shuffle the deck, all light beings, angels, and God, please deliver the message that I need to relay to our viewers for the highest good of all. And choose a card from the center. And this would be the card. And it says, be the powerful space between opposite poles. And once again, there's a beautiful woman. Her hair is braided. She's holding, it looks like a golden object up above her head. And be the powerful space between opposite poles. Powerful. Powerful is what strikes me in this card. The word powerful to me, to me means that you are going to take care of whatever the problem is. You're not going to sit back. You're not going to wait and see what happens at this point, you have to go forward. Uh, the powerful space between opposite poles. Again, this is very interesting. I've never had this card before, and I'm going to check the guidebook to see exactly what this means and what their take is on it. And let me see here. When I look at the book, it's basically saying, in the balanced center of creation, you are the grail. It is possible to manifest all you envision. Everything in our own world has a positive and negative charge. The third quality is the creation itself. The result from the interaction of the two is the powerful third point of the triangle, the symbol of perfect manifestation. There is nothing in the world you cannot do, design, and put into form. The female Templar in the painting is Pilgrim, spiritual warrior. She carries all the symbols of her experiences that placed her in the exalted space of realization. The epiphany of receiving the grail is becoming cognizant of our divine human potential. So basically to me, this card is telling me that you will manifest whatever you set your mind to. As we know, on Monday, we rose from the ashes. We rose from the ashes. We fought the fight. He laid down his sword. He went through whatever it took for him to go through to move to the next stage in his life. We have become your own sovereign where we were learning to respect ourselves and expect the respect from others. Wednesday, we started the healing. She had the sage where she was burning the sage and removing the negative like I said, it could be negative energy, it could be people, places, or things. And once you get those out of your life, you've got to still be curious and look deeper into your situation and confront it. Go forward with what you've learned by being curious and digging deeper. And then this card for the weekend, you know, this card is truly a card of manifesting. And if we've done everything that we were supposed to do this week, uh, by going through the battle, developing the self-respect, starting the healing process, removing negativity in our life. We're on the road to manifesting the life that we want. But if we sit back and, and we're not curious and, and dig deeper, like yesterday's card said, and we don't confront things head on and we kind of back away or go around the situation, you're not going to manifest what you need to manifest. You need to deal with things head on. Sometimes problems in our life could be very, very traumatic and very debilitating. But you don't get strong by running away from them. And sometimes people, oh, I'll deal with it another day, or, oh, I just don't have the strength. I'm just so worn out right now. But the sooner you buckle down, you roll up your sleeves, and you get to the heart of the matter and you deal with it, the sooner it's going to be in your past, the stronger you're going to become, and you're going to manifest by taking these actions. There's no way you can't. You could manifest a new relationship in your life by getting rid of the old, something that didn't serve you. You could manifest just the fact of respecting yourself more by getting rid of an addiction, maybe eating healthier, exercising. You could manifest a much healthier lifestyle. 
you could manifest just you know a, a stronger mental stance uh, from becoming more disciplined doing things that are to benefit you and and to benefit all others in your life uh, but if we step back and and we are wishy-washy about stuff and we don't commit to what we need to change in our lives it's never going to change so we took the first step by rising from the ashes we're doing everything we can to move in a positive direction and this weekend you're gonna see something something manifest in your life because of all of the good hard work that you did this week you worked on the outside you worked on your inside you're healing you're removing negativity you're becoming stronger so whatever situation this applies to in your life if you took those necessary steps this weekend could be a weekend of manifesting for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Take care.